Uh, so can you just talk to us about Sia's journey as captain? Obviously you show faith in him. Um, can you just talk to us about how he's developed as captain? Uh, yeah, I, I think, and uh, to be honest you, f with you, the, the initial appointment of CR's captain, um, uh, my plan never was uh, uh, this big thing to uh, get the country behind us and, and, and uh, um, uh, have, have a other plan with CR, you know, uh, and I'm quite honest with you now, and you'll one day hear from the players how, how CR was appointed captain. Uh, so Sia was actually uh, the best super rugby performing team captain, and and uh, you know that's the reason why he became captain of the Springboks. Uh, and you know it was very sudden on him. Uh, I didn't have a lot of conversations with him before that first test match when he became captain. So it wasn't like we chatted four or five months and we sat down and worked out a strategy and a plan. And it was just before the first uh, England test match. Peter Steff was for the Wales test match and then see I was for the English test matches. So uh, it was a sudden thing, and, and I was a bit caught off, maybe a bit naive in, in thinking that this would be such a massive thing for him being captain. Myself, I, I, I was a bit naive, because the whole uh, emotional things that went around that in South Africa about having a first black captain uh, you know, for, for the Springboks was certainly I think it caught Sia off guard, it caught me, it caught me off guard, and I thought his game suffered a, a little bit the first few games. Uh, and then he got better, and then he got better, because he's always been a great captain, we all know that. Uh, and he's always been a great um, player, but his game suffered a little bit in the beginning. Uh, and then when I mean, that got better, he got an injury, and now uh, when he got back from, being, from the injury, He's, uh, you know, they had to be captain again, and we had to slowly get him back into the mix again for the World Cup. But I think the timing is great now. The last two games, he had great games again. You know, uh, we also managed his ga game time uh, really well. I think so. I think he's firing fit to have a good final. It's his 50th best match. You know, uh, uh, I think it's fitting. It's a wonderful occasion for a guy to be captain, first black captain. Now it's also sunk into me. I understand how big it is. Uh, I'm not so naive anymore. And now for him to run out in his 50th test match, I think it's a wonderful story. Uh, and for him to handle that emotional, not stress, but emotional uh, extras, which uh, come with uh, something that I didn't expect. It's just wonderful uh, and really well done, well done by him.